Aloha. My name is Joaquina Sitka, and I'm a straight girl from Oregon. I am an artist, a web designer, a vocalist, a writer. I'm not gay, or at least I don't currently identify as gay or bisexual. Over the course of my life, I've known many dear gay friends and lesbian friends. And, and as well, um, I've had a lot of difficulty and suffering and challenges in my life that have caused me to want to commit suicide. And so I really understand and deeply feel the, the desire to escape and the desire to run away from all of the problems and the challenges that you're being confronted with as you grow up and evolve and become more mature. I just want to say that I think this is an amazing project, an amazing initiative, and there's a lot of really inspiring videos on this channel. Yeah, teenagers really need to know that life gets better. Life is not stuck in the teenage years. You are not stuck in that phase for the rest of your life. And in fact, the best years of your life will more than likely be after you're a teenager. <laughs> I know for myself that the worst years of my life were my teenage years. When I was 14 years old, I lived in Ohio in a very conservative Christian family and I underneath all of the facade of how sort of ideal my life was I was deeply deeply depressed and very suicidal and very unhappy and I wanted out and I and I dreamt of suicide I fantasized about suicide many times and I prayed to God on a regular basis that he would take me out of this life. And I ended up manifesting cancer at the age of 16 and I ended up having to have surgery to have those tumors removed. And I really do believe that on a certain level that I created those tumors and that cancer due to my prayers and my invocation that I would be taken out of life because at that time in my life, I couldn't see beyond what I was experiencing in my world and in my life. I truly believe that life would never change, that life would always be exactly the same, and that I would be stuck in a permanent state of the stagnant feeling of depression and desire to die and feeling socially alienated and uncomfortable in my body and basically wanting out of life. I didn't know that I would have the most amazing life imaginable. I had no idea that life could bring me such joy and beauty when I was 14. I truly believed that I would be stuck in a permanent state of of depression and fog and desire to die. The best years of my life have been every year since then. That's not to say that being an adult is not difficult and it's not challenging. It is, however, to say that as an adult, I've had a great more amount of autonomy and creativity and beauty and community and love and bliss and heart-centered connections with my fellow human beings than I ever did when I was in high school. So if you're a teenager out there and you're feeling really lost and confused and you're feeling like a lot of social alienation from your peers and you're feeling really hopeless about life, I want you to know, realize that you are not alone. As you can see on this inspiring YouTube channel, there are literally thousands and thousands of people who have gone through what you are going through. Life gets better. Life is an amazing experience. Life is the most beautiful gift that we are given. And so don't give up. Don't give up on life. Don't let life take you down because you are an inspiring, beautiful embodiment of the divine source of all creation. Everybody is. Everybody is 
a beautiful embodiment of the divinity that creates life and that manifests in life. We are all called in this planet to be a beautiful expression of God's divinity. We are all divinely created and we all have a purpose for being alive and sometimes we don't know what that is and we won't know until we allow ourselves to grow and it is so important for each one of our rays of creativity and expression to exist in this world. If you cut yourself short, especially when you're a teenager, especially when you're feeling hurt or judged or confused or ridiculed, and you're, and you're approaching life from a place of lack of self-worth, realize that we are all worthy in the eyes of God. Gays, lesbians, even white Republicans and conservatives, and even us hippies, <laughs> we are all beautiful and unique expressions of the divine source of creation. There's a lot of places in this world, there's a lot of communities in this world where people are open and kind and loving to you, even if you're different. There's a lot of really different people in this world and so it's, and that's being different is a good thing. It's an asset. And we need all the different rays of creation to have a beautiful rainbow. Keep your heart intact, love yourself, and to know that your authentic being, and if that means knowing that you are gay or a lesbian, if, if that's authentic for you, then be that, know that, and allow that to be your special and unique ray of, of beauty that you embody in this world. If that's your gift to this world, and so please honor yourself and know that life is a transformation, life is an evolution, and that you are growing into a beautiful human being, and to just love yourself and be patient with the process. And I'd just like to share with you one quote from the Tao Te Ching, which is, knowing others is intelligence, knowing yourself is true wisdom, mastering others is strength, mastering yourself is true power. And so to all of you confused, isolated, struggling, teenagers out across this country, I would just ask you to know that your gifts, your unique embodiment of your creative essence is perfect. You are perfect as you are. Find the people in your life who will reflect love back to you, who will give you love, who will be nurturing, you will find the right people in your life. And, and also, that true self-knowledge is power. And so with that, if you know in your heart of hearts that you are gay or lesbian, that is your power. That is your gift in life. And that is beautiful. And I just want to thank you for being authentic. And I want to thank you for being real and for being who you are you will never be stuck in the trenches of struggling and self-doubt and loss of faith. Life gets better. Life is amazing. Life is a journey with many ups and downs, but life is absolutely amazing and needs to be celebrated for the gift that it is. Thank you.